It's a, a remarkable history because although I had no great devotion to popular piety at all, my father was devoted to St. Jude and he became very devoted when his business went bankrupt. And when that happened, he began making a weekly visit to St. Jude. He virtually vowed to go to the shrine every Monday and uh, pray at the shrine. And he always would leave an offering for a candle and that kind of thing. And if he couldn't make it on a Monday for whatever reason, he'd go on the Tuesday or the nearest day. But he did this um, faithfully and he had to work through paying back uh, creditors uh, through a board of trade and uh, he paid 100 cents on the dollar. He was the first person ever to do this in San Francisco. But there were conditions on the exercise of his business. And one of them was that it had to cease using the name of the family. So it had to cease being Christian Manufacturing Engineers and it became Jude Engineering. And um, it stayed as Jude Engineering for a long, long time when finally he was able to go back to using the family name. But for many years it was Jude Engineering and uh, he kept, to the end of his life, he kept up the practice of going every Monday or so to the Shrine of St. Jude and became a great, you know, sort of devotee of it uh, there. He was always in his business suit and, you know, looking um, quite proper and he was a tall man, uh, but that, that's really the family background. I mean, it became the name of the, of the company. I respected my father very much because he was a man of learning. Uh, he was a man who had himself considered becoming a priest. Um, he was not someone superstitious. And so to see someone with that kind of learning and that depth of piety engage in an act of popular piety was something that gave me a sort of pause because I was tempted to sort of dismiss it um, as superstitious because there is a lot of temptation in popular piety to superstition, to seeing saints as sort of rivals to God or mini-gods or something like that. And, um, and of course that's not the Catholic belief at all. We don't want our devotion to saints to be somehow a devotion to sort of other gods or rivals to God. So to see my father, who certainly understood all that, um, you know, have a devotion to St. Jude made me consider more what it means to talk about the intercession of saints and the communion of saints. So I, I think I learned to be less dismissive and to be a little more accepting of things thanks to him.